you're gonna fall in love with this simple and incredibly delicious apple crisp. Fresh, juicy apples baked in a sweet syrup combined with a cinnamon and brown sugar topping. This cozy fall dessert is a fantastic alternative to apple pie. Let's make the apple filling. Peel, core, and thinly slice the apples into equal pieces so that they bake evenly. For this recipe, I'm using Honeycrisp apples because they have a sweet tart flavor, but you can use other apples like Granny Smith or Pink Lady. Put the apples in a very large mixing bowl. Pour lemon juice over them and toss the apples. The lemon juice stops the apples from browning. Add flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon, and toss the ingredients together so the apples are well coated. The combination of brown sugar and cinnamon adds an amazing fall flavor to the apple filling. Pour the apples in a lightly greased 9 by 13 baking dish and spread them evenly. Next, we're going to make the crisp topping. In a large bowl, add almond flour, oats, cinnamon, brown sugar, and melted dairy-free butter. Mix all the ingredients together. It will look very crumbly. And if you're wondering what's the difference between a cobbler and a crisp, the cobbler's topping is like a biscuit-like dough. It's made with sugar, flour, and butter, while the crisp's topping includes oats, and that gives it more of a crunch. Spread the topping, spread the oat topping evenly over the apples. Bake for 50 to 55 minutes at 350, or until the topping is golden and crisp. Let cool for at least 10 minutes. Serve your apple crisp warm, either with dairy-free ice cream or whipped cream. And if you like cobblers, then be sure to watch my vegan peach cobbler video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.